Right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a campfire just in case you're stranded out in the wilderness and you really need a light source or a fire source. So my history about this is um, me and my parents, we could go camping like every single summer. So basically I helped them get tiny sticks to put on the campfire just to start it. But anyways, we have three t different types of um, fire starters. First one is uh, magnesium. Then we have a cotton ball covered in Vaseline. Then we have dryer lint, and this isn't really a stinging fire starter, but you can put it on the fire starter to make it last longer. It's fat wood shavings. But anyways, now what we have to do is, here we have a fire steel, and over here we have three different types of tinder. We have magnesium, we have a cotton ball covered in Vaseline, we have dryer lint, and we have um, just some fat wood shavings. So basically, we're gonna move these over to the side. And then we're gonna light the magnesium first. Probably wanna move that over there a little bit more. So you gotta be kind of careful with this. So basically what you do is you grab the one side that has like the ridges and then you do this and you go, you have to really like strike it hard. Oh, oh, it's going. Now you add that on there. You add that. Shavings on. Then we have over here some like fat wood that is like pencil thick. So then you want to start adding that on there to make it actually start cooking. And you're going to want to put like tiny sticks on there, like a lot, because it's not going to go without like something to eat. Because we can't go without eating stuff. So why can't fire? Okay. Now, if you ever see the fire start to die, then you just want to keep on putting sticks on there. And basically, the fire gets like, I don't know, probably up to like here with the flame, you wanna start putting these big logs in there, but obviously our fire's too small right now. And just keep on adding tiny sticks here and there to make it like keep on raging. And um, so let's just review the steps uh yeah you have to have you have a flint and steel then you have three different types of uh seen tender you don't have to use all three of them at the same time and you have different types of sticks pencil thick then you have you have basic pencil thick then you have like different types of wood and big logs so basically that's how you make a fire let's review the steps first you have your three different types of fire starters but there is like three but there's definitely way more three that we had was number one magnesium the, the metal one number two the cotton ball covered in vaseline number three dryer lint and you might probably want to make some like shavings with with wood so that that is good to add on to the fire but remember, just keep on adding wood, and if it ever starts dying, blow on it. And that's basically it.